day. Ooh, nice little transition. I like that. I like that. Um. Well, this is different. I was expecting it to jump to him leaving the Arima house, like in the original. Okay. The tracks take a sudden dive, leaving the surface behind. Casting an artificial light across the tunnel walls, the train makes its way through the darkness. The car creaks around me. Man-made lights pass by at regular intervals. The vibration through the seat lulls me into reflection on this short little journey. It's early. 6.33 a.m. 30 minutes have come and gone since I, got on, since I got on this train. That's how long it's been since I said goodbye to the people who took care of me all this time. Wait, we don't see him yelling goodbye to... The Arima matriarch? Or mother, that is. Not, not necessarily, not really matriarch. That's kind of sad. I was kind of wanting to see her. How I react to this probably says a lot about me as a person. I'm sure some people might feel sad and wish they could have stayed longer. Others would accept it without a second thought. I wonder which side I fall on. I realize after a moment that I don't really feel either. I'm the only one sitting on the eight-seater bench. The seats in front of me are empty. There are only a couple of other people on the train, including a sleeping man in a suit on the bench next to mine, and a woman standing in front of the door. It may be early, but it feels particularly empty today. Empty, to uh, empty today. The noise from outside is strangely muted, but maybe I'm just lost in thought. The train vaguely reminds me of a spaceship traveling through the darkness of outer, spa of outer space. No sound can reach it out here. The only things here are my stupid daydreams, the sound of my heart beating, and my memories from an hour ago. Oh, are we- are we gonna get to see it? It came like a bolt from the blue. Makihisa Tono has died. Shiki Tono is to return to the T Tono household immediately. The first contact I'd had from my family in seven years, and that's how it goes. The Tono family's word is final. I'm still a student, and they pay for all my expenses. But choosing to return to the mansion today instead of yesterday was my one act of defiance. I just wanted to stay a little longer at the home where I'd spent so much of my life. It was all I could do for the family that took me in, and treated me like their own. Oh. Thank you for breakfast. It was delicious. I finish my meal and, and leave the table before the sun even rises. After taking one final glance at my room, I clap my hands together in thanks. It's not much for all the time I've stayed here, but I don't want to leave anything unsaid. I led a happy life here. That's what I want to carry away with me. Keiko saw me off alone as I left the Arima household. I asked to leave quietly without waking the others. Hmm, sad. Thank you for everything. Give my regards to Dad and Miyako for me. Aww. Seven years. The woman who had acted as my mother in that time looked terribly sad. I never once thought I'd see her like this. Life may be hard at the, at the Tono Mansion, but you'll be okay, understand? Don't overdo it. Make sure to look after your health first and foremost. I take her words of encouragement to heart. My time spent with them was peaceful. 
I just hope I didn't cause the Arimas too much trouble during my time with them. I'm sure you didn't. Also, it's really not going to show us... Keiko, is it? It's been seven years. I've had plenty of time to recover. I'm a lot sturdier than I, uh, sturdier than I look, you know. Yes, you're right. The Tonos are quite the unusual family, but you're not you're not one to let that bother you. You've always been a strong boy. She smiles through her sadness, and I smile back. I'm happy that she still considers me to be her child. I think you're giving me a little too much credit. Well, I should get going. Take care, Mom. He doesn't call her Mom in the original, does, does he? Wait, I, I have to go look. I'm pretty sure in the original, he just calls her Keiko-san. I'm, I'm almost positive he doesn't say Mom. Okay. Goodbye, Shiki. Take care. Keiko knows that I won't be coming back. She sends me off with tears in the corner of her eyes. That was just 40 minutes ago. That moment marked the end of my previous life. And the start to my new one. Man, I'm sad. I'm sad we didn't get to see what Keiko looked like. I'm, s I, I, I'm happy that again. If I'm, if I'm remembering the original correctly, I am happy that it seems like he had a slightly more personal relationship with the family. Because in the original, it, it kind of made it seem like he just. Like they cared, they cared for him, but like, I don't know, it didn't feel that personal, I guess. The view outside shifts slowly. We must have crossed the river that separates the suburban Yashirogi and arrived in the city of Soya. The, the train begins its return climb to the surface. It's also weird, because in the original, they weren't that far away. I'm pretty sure in the original, he just walked. It was like a 20 minute walk from the Arimas to the Tonos. So him being on a train for 30 minutes is quite a bit different. Oh. I just... I touched the, 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 um, touchpad on the PS4 controller, <laughs> and, okay, so I guess this game probably has mouse and keyboard support. So if I were to plug my mouse and keyboard into my PS4, I could play that way, I think. Interesting. I won't do that because plugging and re-plugging my mouse and keyboard back and forth would be really annoying. But it's an interesting, interesting little uh, detail. I can feel the gentle incline. Bright light shines through, piercing my eyes, which had grown accustomed to the artificial dimness of the subway. So yeah, they ch so I guess they changed it so that rather than the Tono Mansion being in the same city, or town, I guess, they put the Tono Mansion in a big city, it looks like? Which is a- which- that- that's a choice. The train sweeps towards the city. The majority of its inhabitants are still asleep. Outside, the air is chilly. 
a fall morning in the month of October. The heat of summer is little more than a faint memory now. I've watched the same view nearly every day for a year and a half now. Oh no, he's going to school. Okay. Okay, that's okay. That makes more sense. But this is the last time I'll be take. Okay, no. Okay, so the, the the mansion is here. It's just that his school is also here. I see. Okay. This is the last time I'll be taking this train to school. Memories of the past seven years rush by like the scenery outside the window. I survived a terrible injury that would have killed most ten-year-olds. I met the woman that would become my master, my mentor in life. I went to live with the Arima family. And now I'm halfway through my second year. The thing master feared, my, feared might happen when we parted never came to pass. And as long as I have these glasses on, I don't have to worry about seeing those lines again. And so Tonoshiki has led an ordinary, though at times difficult, life. That all changes today. There's nothing major like feeling I don't belong or anything like that. I just don't feel right going back to the way things were before. Having lived a normal life these past few, year, few years, the Tono family's way of doing things just seems like a pain. Or at least more trouble than it's worth. This is my first time hearing his, 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 like, older voice. That kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> I'm surprised I was able to handle it when I was a, when I was a child. The thought of going back to that old-fashioned way of life is daunting, to say the least. The train stops at a large station for a few minutes. And the local line I'm taking has to wait for the express to pass. The platform is empty. Usually, usually I would expect to see morning commuters in suits on their way to work. But it's particularly quiet today. Uh, quiet today. The express passes by on the on the neighboring rails. Thank you for your patience. The next stop is an announcement I've heard hundreds of times. Plays. The door closes with a hiss of air. I see that there are four stations left to Soya Station, the station where my school. CL. Okay, so we're meeting CL way earlier. Well, not way earlier, like an hour earlier, but in a very different location. Okay. Um, I. I'm. You know, sure. A girl wearing my school's uniform slips through the automatic doors as they close. Her ribbon is green, so she must be a third year. I feel like I've seen her before. The bag she's holding in her hands must contain things for her club activities. <coughs> uh, hi. Our eyes meet for a moment. Domo. The girl continues to stare at me. Just when I notice that she's walked closer. Mm, yeah, good morning to you too. Um, man, I've I mentioned this. I don't remember. Was it KT or Melty Blood? I mentioned I I had seen the 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 character model for the the remake CL before. I don't really like it. I think it's the hair. I think the, the hair is throwing me off. It just, it doesn't look like CL to me. But, I don't know. 
いえこっちこそすいませんジロジロ見ちゃって<clears throat> The way she smiles has me, has me apologizing almost by reflex いえいえ目立つようなことをした私に非があるんです先輩として恥ずかしいところを見せてしまいました<clears throat> Yes, yes, I'll be better でも朝は弱いって話本当なんですね Uh, the girl laughs slightly. I'm distracted by her laughter and. Hora! Watashi! Watashi desu yo! Senshu otta bakkari na no ni, mo o wasure chattan desu ka? The gaslighting begins already. <laughs> I'm. I. We haven't met you a day in our life. Yep,、yeah, there's the magic. Shiru senpai. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, they made, they made her using magic on us way more obvious. There was even a little flash, like, boom. In an instant, my memory is jolted away. Right, memory, uh huh. Wink. I knew she felt familiar. I've crossed paths with her a number of times. And now that I think about it, there's probably not a person in the whole school who doesn't know CL. Weirdly enough, I actually like her, her new character model at this angle. Then the, just the straight up at front when she was looking at us. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's just that one image of her that throws me off. I don't know. This is a. Okay, you know what? That's alright. So, Yaha is the most revered third year. Happy to offer advice to any tiny distraught first year. Eager to, st e eager to, eager to solve the woes of any troubled second year. And quick to save underclassmen from the ire of the third years. Some students call her the true student council president. Considering most people rely on her over the teachers or our actual student council. She even helped me with something just last week. Man, how out of it am I? CL's right about how I hate mornings, but thinking about returning home for the first time in seven years must be killing my brain cells. I. Uh, <laughs> take the opportunity to admire what's in front of me. Um, okay. I don't know if I should be following a guide or anything. I'm gonna freeball it. Um. Hmm, I actually, I don't know. I kind of want to go with number three. But... Uh... I think number two is the, is the best answer, probably. But, same time! Yeah, three. I can't help but be intrigued. My eyes drop from the bag on her shoulder down to her legs. <laughs> I know, I, I'm not, I know I'm the one that chose it, but still. Mm hmm. I mean, those legs! They're nothing short of amazing. Absolute perfection. Mm hmm. Coursing with the quiet energy of flowing water, they feel ready to surge into motion at any moment. I try to pull my eyes away, but I'm utterly transfixed. <laughs> They're truly a work of art. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, what is it? Never before have I seen have I seen strength and beauty in such perfect harmony. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. okay, brother. 
Although, although they're pleasantly defined, they're a sprinter's legs at heart. Rumor has it that CL set a new school record, outside of the track team anyway, during the fitness test the other day. These legs ran 100 meters in 13 seconds. They're more valuable than diamonds. <laughs> my, my man! <laughs> I didn't know he would make gestures! I, 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 I applaud this man. <laughs> he, he's like, be like, be quiet. I'm, it's, this is important. I, d d d <laughs> oh, mm-hmm, yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But it's not like I'm her trainer or a rival on the track, as much as I wish I were. <laughs> okay, buddy. Even if I were to unveil all the secrets of her speed, it wouldn't do me any good. Uh, yeah. But... <laughs> Don't worry about it, CL. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, how does one express how it feels to be captivated by such beauty? <clears throat> Some claim that true beauty cannot be expressed in words, but it is not it's but it's not defeatist to suggest that something beautiful cannot be called what it is. Oh, but is it not defeatist to suggest that something beautiful cannot be called what it is? Will the day ever come when humanity transcends its myriad biases and prejudices to put words to put to words the true nature of Did you just hit us? <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Honestly, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, something hit us in the head. Uh-huh. Yes. Ignoring my throbbing head, I pick up the object that has fallen onto the seat. It's a shiny metallic object that fits perfectly in the palm of my hand. That is to say, it's a phone. Who are you? N new new character? Uh, kore kana? Shotto sugoi kakudo de tonde kita keto. Fuimawashite asoba apuri demo haitte ta. Uh, yeah, something like that. <clears throat> Yeah, you're welcome. I'm still curious as to who you are, but... The girl coolly retrieves her phone and moves to the other end of the car. Yeah, she caught us, uh, perving on CL, I guess. <clears throat> CL and I stare at each other, speechless. I mean, to be fair, we kind of, we, we, we did kind of deserve that. <laughs> for better or for worse, I've come back to my senses. I cough to try and reset the conversation. Yeah, a little out of it, uh-huh. Yeah,何を隠そう。ボランティア活動の帰りなんです。うん、うん。ほら、生徒会公募で公園のゴミ拾いがあったでしょ。あれをちゃちゃっと先ほどまで。That's a, that's nice. It's valiant. Ah, now it may all, now it all makes sense,
you know, I will admit her new model is it, it's it, I'm warming up to it. I think again, I think it's just that one straight on shot that looks weird to me. I don't know why. Actually, no, she also looks weird to me in the box art. Like on here. I don't know what I don't know what it is. She looks way better like here than she does in that like straight on look and on here. I don't know why. Or maybe I'm just getting used to it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, going home and yeah, it's... If you're gonna end up going to school in, in you know, a half hour later anyway, well, what's the point? Her bag clatters as she shifts it on her shoulder. I had assumed it was full of club equipment, but it must be cleaning stuff. Oh yeah, Nakami, you she draws closer and looks into my eyes. Also, also, I did kind of expect her voice to be a little cooler, I guess. Like, I guess, I mean, like, like take, for example, the voice I gave her in, um, the, the original, right? It was like, <clears throat> Tonokun. It was like more of a, like a cool, like, a little bit, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know, that's, that's the vibe I got from her, at least then. So I wasn't really, but you know, I, 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 I like this voice. Which wasn't wasn't what I was expecting, but it, it's it's nice. Her face is so close to mine that I can feel the warmth of her body. Flustered, I can't figure out where to look. Hmm. <laughs> Why does that sound like a threat? Like, you want to see my multi-purpose head shears? Like, th that sounds kind of threatening to me, but... Ahem. <clears throat> Faced with such a heartfelt smile, I end up blushing. I still want to know who the girl from before was. <laughs> I'd like to say something clever or witty, but a simple yes is all I can manage. Also, don't spoil who that was for me. I want to I want to find out myself. <laughs> I feel like that should be should be obvious, but yeah. <clears throat> I don't even know which room the tea ceremony club meets in, but I'll figure that out later. I don't think you need help with polishing off snacks, but sure. So, so mm -hmm. I'm sure you would, Shiki. I'm sure you would. I mean, maybe. CL's warm smile makes me feel comfortable enough to crack a joke. She adjusts the green ribbon around her neck. What? <laughs> Bark? Woof? Mm -hmm. That's fair enough. For reasons I don't quite understand, she seems to feel strongly about this. I don't know if that's a Neko Arc reference or or what, but <laughs> I, I'm I'm going to headcanon that it's a it's a Neko Arc reference that they just kind of snuck in there. 
Uh, as we're both heading to the same place, we continue to chat. We talk about last week's midterms. We wonder why the sports festival has been, has been reduced to a one-day event. We complain about the cafeteria always serving the same things. After getting into a heated discussion about the plan to restrict phones at school, we tire each other out, sigh in unison, and change, change the subject. We laugh as we trade opinions on the movies we've seen recently. Fifteen minutes go by in a flash. It's easy talking with her. She is, after all, incredibly popular among everyone. I don't want this to end, but we only have a few minutes left before we get to Soya Station. I try to bring up something else to talk about. But... Uh, God damn! What? <laughs> uh, like, I know, I know in Japan they like to keep keep things quiet on the train, but it's it's kind of it's kind of fuck kind of kind of mean. Understandable, but me still. We've forgotten where we are. CL and I bow our heads in apology. <clears throat> Yeah. No, you did nothing wrong. Also, her voice, uh, voice actress sounds familiar to me too. I don't know why. With that, our conversation comes to a halt. The friendly cheer that filled the air just moments ago has vanished. It's quickly replaced by that familiar city silence. That cold space in which everyone is a stranger. The train pulls into Soya Station. It's just before 7 a.m. I left for school a bit early today, so the town hasn't quite woken up yet. It's quiet right now, but in about an hour, it'll be bustling with traffic and commuters. Commuters. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I wonder. As CL shares this odd observation, I notice how heavy her bag looks. Oh, oh, that, 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 I wonder what she's doing. Her lithe legs carry her so swiftly I almost expect a comical whoosh. I feel an urge to start running too, though there's no reason for me to hurry. Uh-huh. I probably shouldn't be running anyway, considering my condition. I start walking towards school at my usual pace. But just as I set off... Uh... uh hi! Hi, hi. Wait, what's up? <clears throat> the girl from before emerges from the from the ticket gates. She passes by briskly, slowing only to share a few choice words. <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. I, you know, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, we deserve that. Yep. Yep, my bad. And with that, she, she stalks away. <sighs> I mean, she's got a point. 
<laughs> she, you know, I can't, I can't really, I can't, I can't really refute her scolding. I make my way to school, my steps heavier than usual. It's just about seven when the main entrance to the school comes into view. Uh, students hurry through the gate to go to their club activities. They must be trying to make the most of the time before homeroom starts at eight. Okay, um... I'm gonna stop there, actually. I have to leave in an hour, and, or about 50 minutes, and I have to get ready, so... Yeah, that's gonna do it. That was, um... Prologue? Pretty much the same. There were a few little differences. Um... Like, how Al- Like, instead of Alco just happen happening to have those glasses, she went and swiped her sisters and... Uh, like, I guess... Uh, reverse engineered them to work with death perception. Um, the I, I think in the original, the doctor didn't even say anything about. Hmm, actually, I don't, I don't remember. It's been a while. I don't. I don't really remember very well. But there are some differences. Um, how we meet CL was very interesting. Because, in the original, we meet CL by... Well, I mean, it, I mean, it depends. We either meet her in the hallway, or if we're on... If we're doing CL's route in the original, we go to the garden behind the school, and we meet her there. So having that conversation... And I can't... Dude, I can't believe they gave us an option. Like, like, when I saw that third option, I was like, you know, two seems like the correct option. But, like, if, if you don't go with three, are you really living life? <laughs> like, I, ah, uh, man. That was, that was hilarious. I actually, I really liked that. Um. I'm gonna give a guess that that cat-eyed looking girl... Is, has something to do with CL's route because I do know CL's route is like completely overhauled So I'm assuming she has to do with CL's route in some fashion again Don't confirm deny or tell me anything about her. I'm just giving my thoughts on what could on what her 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 Role is but yeah, without further ado, how do I how do I open the menu? There we go. Uh, okay, save. And yeah, current. Yeah, we're so we're not currently on a route. Um. Also, they have, they have a flow chart. Okay, so yeah, it shows the three different. Okay. Fascinating. So this so this game has like a bunch of replayability then, huh? I mean, I guess the original did. Well, no. Cuz I assume mm, well, I like okay. Going off this, it looks like all three of them lead to the same thing. It just changes what we see at the time. So maybe it doesn't change all that much. I hope some of the I hope some other choices later on affect the story more. I assume they obviously there's gonna be like some of the choices that lead to like dead ends. But I hope there's like choices that don't lead to dead ends that do af that do affect the story. If that makes sense to what I'm saying. If that makes sense. Like, I want them to reference earlier choices. And, 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 you, 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 you get what I'm saying. 
Because obviously there's gonna be choices that will have a you know probably you know, a little bit of a scene and bleed to death. But I want choices that just continue flowing through and they get referenced. I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if that happens. I would like that. If not, no big deal. Um. Also, let me with this. I think. Let me know for next time if I should change any of these uh, of the any of the audio settings like music, sound effects, whatnot. And like, it sounded good to me, but I don't know how it will sound in. How it will sound in recording. Um, sorry, I just I was staring at her image. Emma's. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, let me know if you want me to change any of the audio settings for next time. But uh, yeah, sorry, I got kind of distracted. Anyway, thanks for watching. I gotta get ready to go here soon. So uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.